Jennifer just eats whatever she wants. <laughs> it, and whatever she wants. Pizza, cookies, ice cream, everything. Ben Affleck has revealed how his wife, Jennifer Lopez, upkeeps her physical appearance. And it's surprisingly filled with guilty pleasures. The 50-year-old actor virtually stopped by the Drew Barrymore show on Friday, and he shared a bombshell about his 53-year-old actress wife. Let me tell you something that's going to upset you. Okay. okay. Uh, Jennifer just eats whatever she wants. <laughs> it, it, whatever she wants. Pizza, cookies, ice cream, everything. Drew's facial expression said it all, how she couldn't believe the air actor before she went on to get to the bottom of how Jennifer can eat whatever she wants. Is it the working and out? She works out. I mean, I work out too, but I don't <laughs> magically appear to be 20 years old. You know what I mean? With perfect skin and the whole day. I'm, she is a just, uh, there's no taking away the work ethic. The work ethic is real. The discipline is very real, but also the superhuman thing is real. Ben concluded by totally gushing over his gorgeous wife which caused the blended actress to swoon over the couple's love. She's, she's the most gorgeous woman in the world. She looks spectacular. <laughs> but, hi. That just, yeah. That she <laughs> I put you to sleep. Doesn't Sorry. surprise, no, I'm swooning. Yeah. Oh. This, is, this is me living vicariously through romance and men <laughs> appreciating women and all of it. Jen and Ben tied the knot last year in a luxe ceremony at Ben's Georgia estate but they first surprised fans with whirlwind I do's in Las Vegas. Axis Hollywood chatted with the shotgun wedding star in January, and she opened up about tying the knot with Ben and revealed whose idea it was to elope in Sin City before the big ceremony. You know, this couple has several wedding disasters. Nothing goes to plan. You're both newlyweds. What was the mm. biggest curveball thrown at you when you were planning your big day? Um, we got married down in Savannah and it was, um, everybody was panicked about the weather, like whether it was going to just be pouring rain or if it was going to be so hot that everybody was going to be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So that was a big deal. So we just ran off to Vegas and got married mm -hmm. a month before. <laughs> That'll do it. the pressure off. It. it was like, okay, our wedding was perfect. Now, whatever happens on That's that day is fine. Perfect. perfect way to do it. You just take the pressure. I know off. it was Ben's idea. I can't take. I can't take any credit for it. Yeah, it's. Uh, it, it, I can think of other scenarios in life. I, you should do the same sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Do something before that takes the pressure off for the actual event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next time. Next time. No, 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 no. no I don't no, mean no, actually no. getting married again. Right. I just mean like other things. Um, for me, it was, I had to get, uh, I, I, I couldn't get out of bed the morning of the wedding because I'd thrown my back out Ooh. dancing in a party bus the night before at the oh, rehearsal God. dinner. Wow. Yeah, for real. I couldn't get out of bed. I had to go to the hospital like an hour <gasps> before the thing. They shot me up. Do you think that had to do more with stress? I was trying to do like, you know how gymnasts are able to hold themselves up and stick Why? their legs straight right? up? Why? What was that? Why? Right. I was, I, don't know, I, was trying to, <laughs> I was feeling good. I was getting married the next day. I'm going to dance. That's well, hilarious. I couldn't get out of bed. And then I, I got shot up, made it through the wedding just fine. Didn't feel a thing for about 24 hours and then couldn't wake up again the next, couldn't get up Ooh. out of bed again the next day. So that, that was the curveball that I was not expecting. 